Hello, everybody, and welcome to Racing from Delaware Park. Delaware Park. I'm Rich Glazier, and we're going to take a look at Monday's races. The first day we've had of racing since Saturday's Delaware Handicap, and what an exciting race that was, and a good turnout. And Elate is a super mare. She just that was a good field she ran against here, and she was eased up at the end there. She won easily under complete control. Jose Ortiz with four wins on four mounts on Saturday. So he had a good day. You wonder about them leaving Saratoga with those rich purses to come down here. But uh, I think it paid off for him that day. Anyway, that was the Dell Cap. Today we have a Monday card. And we had a beautiful day here. Sunshine, fast track, firm turf. With four turf races. So half the race is on the turf today. And we'll be showing to those to you in just a second. But first, speaking of turf, here's our turf guru. Bungie's his name. Oh, he's dancing too. That's a good. That's a good sign for maybe, or maybe he just <laughs> likes to dance. Stop! Stop! Bungie, uh, I'm not going to ask you why you're happy. That might give something away. But what do you have to say today? Oh, he wants to say hello to Fernando and Mickey, the two uh, fans from uh, Gulfstream that come up from Florida. Every year, for spend a week here at Delaware Park. They're big fans of Bungie. Yep, sometimes they even text him to see who his pick is. How about that? Bungie, are you should be proud, yeah. Anyway, he wants to say hello to them. They arrived here at Delaware today, and they'll be here all week. Then they go to the Haskell at Monmouth and then back here to Delaware. So they take in a nice vacation of playing the horses. All right, Bungie, we'll see. Do you have a turf horse for Wednesday? Indeed he does. And the name of it is Brickyard Kitten. Brickyard Kitten. Did you pick that one before, Bungie? Yeah, it, he picked it, but it's scratched. So he's going to he's back in again today. Hopefully he'll get a winner on Wednesday. All right. All right. Goodbye, Mickey and Fernando. And goodbye, Bungie. All right, now we're ready to get to the action. And as I said, the first race was on the turf. And uh, here's a look at the field. I can tell you by heart who's in this field because John Kern had somewhere to go this morning and wasn't sure he was going to get here for the first race. So I was standing by with binoculars and memorized these horses' names and was walking up to the announcer's booth when in came Mr. Kern to save the day. So uh, scratch the one and the one A and the six. The favorite was Louie's chosen one at six to five. Here's the voice of Delaware Park, John Kern. And they're off. In the opener, Holly's Lady breaks well, as does Cold-Hearted Cat. Slewy's Chosen One moves up and graceful request toward the outside looking for a spot, but Slewy's Chosen One has chosen to take the lead and the rail as they race into that first turn. Graceful request now settles nicely in the second, followed by Holly's down on the inside. That is Holly's Lady saving ground. Cold-hearted Cat is up alongside as they race around the bend. On the front end, it is Slewy's Chosen One under a nice hole by two lengths over Graceful Request. A gap of two more lengths to Holly's Lady, then four more to Cold Hearted Cat. They quickly spread out Country Miss and the trailer. Dorothy M already about at least 12 or 13 lengths off the leader. Opening quarter goes in 24 and two cozy fractions on the front end for Slewy's Chosen One. Leads it by two over Graceful Request. Two more to Holly's Lady. Now it's about seven lengths to Cold Hearted Cat, followed by Country Miss and Dorothy M the trailer. They cover the half in 47 and two. Pick things up that quarter as they race into the turn with Slewy's chosen one to catch and she's going nicely. Leaves it now by almost three lengths over Graceful Request. Two and a half more lengths back to Holly's Lady then five more to Cold Hearted Cat. They're still well strung out. Right now it appears to be maybe a two or three horse race with Slewy's chosen one showing the way as they turn for home. Graceful Request is trying to cut the margin. Three lengths further back to Holly's Lady. They've got a furlong to go and Slewy's chosen one now trying to hold on as Graceful Request is bearing down on the outside and now Graceful Request takes over by a head but Slewy's Chosen one battles back on the inside, but it's Graceful Request in front, edging away. A late run along the rail coming from 
cold-hearted cat it's going to be a photo with and it was graceful request winning like a daughter of scat daddy should win on the turf and it made sense to bet on centeno daniel centeno up for susan cooney and quest realty six dollars 340 to ten cold-hearted cat by courageous cat gets up for second Making it a storm cat exacta, Trevor McCarthy, 420-220. Slewy's chosen one with Raul Mania, 210. The exacta, 2840, not bad. The, the try, $61. And the super, 5930. Claim. Yes, claim person. Sorry to wake you up there. Graceful request. The winner was claimed by Jose Camejo. On to race two. This one on the dirt. We alternate all day today. Turf, dirt, turf, dirt, turf. Is it turf, dirt, turf? That's hard to say. Turf, dirt, turf, dirt, turf. Say that five times fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Okay. Seven of them to go, and the favorite was Miss Tiz at two to one. Here's John. In line? The seven to five. We're about set. And they're off. On the front end, double cross toward the outside. Ms. Tiz is there, but down to the inside, Sourball quickly rushing up to stick a neck in front. Sourball leads it by a neck. Right there, double cross in second two lengths. The Ms. Tiz, Princess Nakia has the rail. A toast to K moves up in between those two, followed by Icy Lady, and Sterling Furiosa is at the back. As they pass the half mile marker, Sourball leads it by a half. Double crosses right there in second. Now it's about three lengths further back to a toast to K. And to the inside, Princess Nakia. Icy Lady, two lengths behind them. Then comes your favorite, Ms. Tiz, has one beaten. That's Sterling Furiosa as they race into the turn. On the front end, double cross with about a half a head lead right now on Sourball. A toast to K is gaining ground in third, followed by Princess Nakia. Five lengths back to the rest of them as they head for home. Sourball on the inside, double cross on the outside, and now double cross edging away by a length and a half. A toast to K rallies. Princess Nikki is coming between horses. Late one on the far outside from Sterling Furiosa. Under a furlong two, double cross leads it by a length and a quarter. A toast to K is bearing down. Sterling Furiosa is coming belatedly, but it's double cross holding on. A late run from a toast to K surging at the wire. It's going to be a photograph. Oh, it was close, but we'll save by the wire. Double cross. Holds on for you gotta be happy if you bet on Chappie. Ricardo Chappie for good old Art Stoffer, the owner and trainer. He's one of the few that was training when I got here. Art, Sam Cronk, John Worsley, Wally Nielsen. I think that's about it right now. Anyway, Double Cross wins the second and pays fifteen twenty, seven dollars four dollars a toast to K. With Sedano, 420, 340. Sterling Furiosa with Koa, 960. Exact to 5240, the try, 460, 640. That double paid 5380, the super with the one, 960, 340. And that winner was another Delaware certified winner. Back to the turf for the third. And this one had some scratches in there. Scratch the four. The Legacy's Prince, the six, Tom's Music, the seven, See Him Smile, and the ten, Poppy's Two Step. And the odds on favorite, follow the signs, three to five. Reared up there momentarily, and they settle down, and they're off. Follow the signs, breaks well and rather easily. He's going to that front as a race bias the first time. Follow the signs. Hey, big guy toward the inside is right there. King Tide under a stout hold moving up on the outside. No real pace in the early going, it seems. Followed by Do With Pride as they make their way to the turn. Galaxy Express and my friend Linus bring up the rear. And they're close on the front end there. Follow the signs has some company now. 
from Hey Big Guy on the outside, but now Hey Big Guy trying to settle off that leader now and does so. Then a gap of five lengths further back now to do with pride toward the inside of King Tide. Then a gap of five more to Galaxy Express and my friend Linus is at the back. Opening quarter went in a cozy 25 seconds and follow the signs being rated on the front end there by Trevor McCarthy. Leads it by three points of length. Hey Big Guy is right there in second though and now edging up alongside. They're going to make it a match race down the back stretch. Then a gap of three and a half lengths to do with Pride and King Tide. Pride and Tide next to each other. Then a gap of six more to Galaxy Express and two and a half to my friend Linus. A dozen lengths off that leader after a half in 49 flat. They race into the turn and the pace is going to quicken. Follow the signs. Hey, big guy are at it head to head still. It's four lengths further back to do with pride trying to muster a rally. Then comes King Tide followed by Galaxy Express to my friend Linus as they head for home. Follow the signs trying to edge clear of hey, big guy. The main challenge may be coming from do with pride who's had a good trip in third as they turn for home. Follow the signs by a length and a quarter. Do with pride is bearing down and do with pride has the momentum. Do with pride on the outside. Follow the signs trying to battle back on the inside. Do with pride and follow the signs. Do with pride edging away. Follow the sign, settles for second, followed by Hey Big Guy and King Tide. And it was Do With Pride. Doing it with pride. And by the way, the uh, when I did the scratches, the six times music was a late scratch. So you'll see some consolation prices. What an angel, Angel Suarez for Ramon Aguayo, owner and trainer. Do With Pride paid 1120, 380, 220. Follow the signs with Trevor McCarthy, 220, 210. Hey, big guy, with Chappie, 210. Exact the 2160, the try 37. The 6-6 six, six consolation double, 1360. The actual double, $87. The consolation pick three, 2160. The actual pick three, 150 bucks. And a super with the nine. 5680. Let's go to the fourth. And the fourth is back to the dirt. See? Turf, dirt, turf, dirt, turf, dirt. I did it. Six of them to go. A mile and 70. And a couple nine to five shots in here. The three and the six. And there's a two to one shot. So the three horses got all the money. Let's see who wins. In there, off. To the stars breaks. Well, now we are free going right with that one in Rocket Road. Those three across the track into the first turn. Little Leo settles in nicely in fourth, and I'll wrap it up in Hirschbein. The Grays at the back of the pack. They race into that first turn to the stars. Off the rail, leads it by three parts. Now we are free is right there in second. We'll try and settle in behind that leader, maybe. Then a gap of about four lengths further back to Rocket Road. Little Leo next in line toward the inside Hirschbein and moving up there on the outside, I'll wrap it up as they make their way around the clubhouse turn. Opening quarter goes in 23 and four as they reach the back stretch with two of the stars on the inside. Now we are free on the outside, heads apart. Two lengths to Rock and Road going along easily in third. Up on the outside, I'll wrap it up. It's going to make a three wide bid. Hirschbein with the rail and Little Leo is at the back. Only about four lengths separates this field as they race toward the half mile marker. On the inside, two of the stars. Now we are free and I'll wrap it up. Moves up on the far outside. Hirschbein sitting right behind that group in fourth. Rocket Road has had a wide trip so far and dropping back just a bit. Little Leo is the trailer but still wide open a half in 48 and one as they race into the turn to the stars now we are free head to head rocket road is going to make a three wide bid i'll wrap it up trying to go with him literally toward the inside and now hirschbein is dropping out of it five still with a chance with three eights to go now we are free by length over to the stars rocket road rallies on the outside little leo is thrown on the inside and i'll wrap it up still with a shot all five as they head for home now we are free rocket road are heads apart i'll wrap it up side a wide journey down on the inside little leo is flattened out Looks like we're down to two. On the outside, Rocket Road. On the inside, now we are free. Scanly trying to battle back, but Rocket Road is edging clear. Rocket Road will prevail. Now we are free. Has to settle for second, followed by I'll Wrap It Up and Little Leo. And Rocket Road, one of the three that got a lot of money, wins it for, it's a sin if you didn't bet on Cintron. Alex Cintron for Tom Iannotti, the fourth. And Glenn Gaddy, the owner. That's a 580 win price, 260 to place, 220 to show. Now we are free with Rodriguez, 260, 210. I'll wrap it up with Betancourt, 240. Zach, the 1580, the try, 39, 20. 
The double 3240, the consolation pick three, 666, 1950. The actual pick three, 13160. Pick four, 54560, and the super with that one, 3940. Claim. Yes, the winner, Rocket Road, was claimed by John Carlisle. Fifth race, back to the turf. Scratch Tom Terrific. That was a late scratch. Right when they were getting close to loading in the gate, he ran off. And also scratch too much time, the 12. So check your tickets again. Tom Terrific was a scratch, but a big field. Ready to go. Seven and a half on the turf. Looks like the favorite. Wow, what a wide open race. Seven to two favorite. This five and the eight. Here's John. And they're off. Right off. Check the wind is, check the wind is off. Stunning baby in between horses. Down toward the inside, it is not necessarily. Temple Moore is right there in between horses up on the outside. It is looking to move up their purrs again. They're Jockeying for position in that first turn. Let's see who comes out on top. Temple Moore by two lengths over Wild Drive. Not necessarily down toward the inside, up on the outside. That's Purrs again. Next to line, that is top mandate, followed by Cairo Holiday alongside Stunning Baby. Dig in is next to line, then Purrs well as they make their way down the back stretch. Mead Avenue, and the trailer is, it's known as the Burn. Opening quarter in 24 and 3 as they race toward the half mile marker. Wild Drive on the outside, Temple Moore on the inside, not necessarily going along in third, followed by Purs well in fourth as they race into the turn. That's Purs again, I should say, as they make into the turn with Mead Avenue picking up momentum on the outside, going strongly. Next in line, Stunning Baby trying to follow that move. Three eights to go. Temple Moore, Wild Drive, not necessarily. He's had a good rail trip as they make their way around the bend. Next in line, Mead Avenue trying to continue a rally as they head for home with Temple Moore to catch. Leads it by two, two and a half lengths. Not necessarily. Angles off the inside and now putting in a nice run. Mead Avenue's coming on the outside and purrs again down toward the inside of Furlong. The it's still wide open on the front end. Temple Moore, not necessarily. Mead Avenue's coming on the far outside. Temple Moore's doggedly hanging on and Temple Moore will prevail. Mead Avenue getting up for second over not necessarily Cairo Holiday. Well, of the four, Temple Moore crossed the wire first but came out in the stretch and bothered a couple horses and was disqualified and place third. That made the winner Mead Avenue, who's by Seville, who's by Galileo. So I, I said in my paddock prattle, this one keeps having running into bad luck one of these days, and today was the day. Got some good luck and got moved up to win at Mead Avenue with Jose Betancourt for Cesar Nambo, owner trainer. 3380, no, 33 even, 1280, 560. Not necessarily with Centeno, 580, 320, disqualified from first to third. Templemore with Halliday, 440. Zach, 186 bucks, try, look at that one, 890, 60. The consolation double with the late scratch of Tom Terrific. 560, the actual double, 103.40. The pick three consolation, 1780. The actual pick three, 443.50. And the super, a good one with the 10, 2,754.10. To the sixth we go, and that means back to the dirt. And this is a sprint of six furlongs. And the even money favorite was for the road. Here's Mr. John Kern with the call. And they're off. To the inside for the road breaks. Well goes right for that lead. Up on the outside, you'll like it. Quick Man is right there in third, followed by Pep Talking. Lippy Lorenzo toward the inside. Up on the outside, tap it on the side as they make their way down the back stretch. And the trailer is Lay It On. They've got just over a half mile to go. For the road, leads it by a length and a quarter. You'll like it, Stalking in second. 
tap it on the sides is advancing on the far outside. Then comes pep talking in between horses. Quick man, Lippy Lorenzo's dropped back just a bit and laid on continues at the rear. They race into the turn for the road by a length and a half. Tap it on the side. You'll like it. Heads apart second and third. Two lengths further back. Two on the inside. Pep talking as they make the way around the bend for the road. Well off the rail now. Leads it by a length. Tap it on the side is trying to go by. Swinging wide to the top of the stretch, but it's still for the road showing the way. Tap it on the side, racing second, but not cutting that margin. Quickman is trying to rally in third. They've got a furlong to go, and for the road is kicking clear. For the road. And Brian Pedroza will win this one handily, geared down in the final 70 yards. Tap it on the side, getting second. Quickman third, and Pep talking up for fourth. And an easy win there for the favorite for the road. Taking that one for trying Brian, Brian Pedroza. Tony Pecorero, the trainer for the Gen Gendraki Racing Stable. 420, 360, 360 across the board. Tap it on the side with Mania, eleven dollars five sixty. Quick man with Garcia, eight dollars. Exact to twenty nine forty to try one twenty three even. The double, 82.80. The consolation pick three, 660. The real pick three, 117.40. And again, the one catches fourth, making the superfecta, 92.20. It's time for the lucky seventh race. And this one's on the turf. This is the fourth turf race of the day. The only scratch was the main track only, Backyard Fun. This was Bungie's pick. He liked Ivania on the bottom there. The favorite was Vindicta. So let's see if Bungie can get a winner. And they're off. So the outside single mission away well. Right there is just a women, no sniveling. Up on the outside, Ben Dick looking for a spot. Single mission leads him, passing the finish line the first time. Up on the inside, you know what it is, quickly. Now into that second spot, followed by No Sniveling settles in the third. Ben Dick, racing in fourth. Three lengths to Ivania, followed by Just a Whim, and Myrtle is at the back as they make their way to that first turn. Single mission showing the way by a length and a half. You know what it is toward the inside, right alongside No Sniveling. Two lengths further back to Vindicta, going along evenly in fourth. Then a gap of three and a half to Avanya, followed by Just a Whim. Myrtle continues the trail. Opening quarter went in 24 and 2 as they race down the back stretch. Single mission leads it by three. On the inside, you know what it is, right alongside No Sniveling. They're side by side right now, with Vindicta edging a bit closer in fourth. Then a gap of about five lengths to Ivanya. Trailers are Just a Whim and Myrtle. They've got a half mile to go. The opening half went in 48 and 1 as they race into the turn. Single mission, they've got to catch. The lead is still about two lengths. No sniveling is there. Vindicta's making a three wide move. Toward the inside, you know what it is, still hanging in there. Ivanya's trying to rally in fifth as they make the way around the bend. It's single mission, trying to fight off a couple of challenges. No sniveling is there. Vindicta on the outside. Down to the inside, you know what it is. Ivanya's gained some ground. Also from the back, just a whim, trying to rally. It's wide open as they head for home, but single mission still in front by a length and a half. Vindicta is there. Up on the outside, Ivania is beginning to kick it in. Toward the inside, you know what it is. It's single mission. Vindicta. Ivania is eating up the ground on the outside. Here comes Ivania to truck the field. Ivania wins it. Single mission in a photograph with on the outside. Just Ivania made Bungie a happy horse today as she gets from far back to get up and win. Alex Sintron. It was a sin. If you didn't listen to Bungie or bet on Cintron, his second win of the day. Tim Ritchie had this one cranked to go. And Tim Ritchie also owns it. Tim Ritchie Racing Stables Incorporated. 1280s, that's the best price Bungie's had this year so far. He's pretty much ahead, though. That gave him a nice cushion. 1280, 540, $4. Single mission with McCarthy, 380, 260. Just a win with Centeno, four dollars. Exact to forty-one eighty. The try two sixteen eighty. The double thirty-six sixty. And the pick three two hundred and fifty dollars and thirty cents. But wait, there's more. Holy mackerel! Twenty-five thousand four hundred and twenty-five dollars 
for the pick five. The super with the seven, 247.80. So Bungie gets a good win, and we'll hope he gets another one on Wednesday with Brickyard Kitten. And now the field for the eighth and final. Scratch the seven, Bolter. Wow, we had a big favorite in here. One to five on Tough Duff. Let's see if the chalk players are happy or whether they'll be an upset. And they're off. Pretty even star for them all. Confusion being hustled. Supreme appeal toward the inside. Sunny Blaze, Tough Duff, and Mr. Mistaken Identity. Five across the track. Only one taken back is the long shot. Light affair as they make their way around that first turn. Supreme appeal leads it by a length. Confusion is right there. Tough Duff is up there three wide. With a wide trip around the turn, Mr. Mistaken Identity. Toward the inside, it's Sunny Blaze and Light Affair already over a dozen lengths behind as they race around that first turn. Opening quarter win in 24 and 1 as they straighten away with Supreme Appeal now, giving way to Tough Duff on the outside. Right there, confusion in between horses and Supreme Appeal still with the rail. Then a gap of three to Mr. Mistaken Identity. Moving up toward the inside, Sunny Blaze and far back is Late Affair. They've got just over a half mile to go. Tough Duff now leads it by two over Supreme Appeal and Confusion. Sunny Blaze racing in fourth, followed by Mr. Mistaken Identity. And Light Affair is way out of it. The half in 48 and one as they race into the turn. Tough Duff to catch. Lead is two lengths. Supreme Appeal only one with a shot right now, it appears. Followed by Sunny Blaze, Mr. Mistaken Identity. Confusion dropping out of it. Looks like a two horse affair right now. And right now, Tough Duff is trying to make it a one horse affair. Opens up five on Supreme Appeal. Six lengths further back to Sunny Blaze in third. As they head for home, it's Tough Duff. The six in one, 14 in one. And the one to five public pick is in command. Leads it by seven lengths. Supreme Appeal second best right now. Followed by Sunny Blaze and Mr. Mistaken Identity. It's all Tough Duff down. Down the lane. Going to be an easy winner here under Raul Mena. Tough Duff will coast on home to win this one by over a baker's dozen, it appears. Supreme Appeal getting second, followed by. Well, uh, at one to five, that's the kind of win you want. The easiest kind of win there for Tough Duff. For Raul Mena and Andy Simoff for the Reitman Stables LLC. 240 to 10 to 10. Supreme Appeal with Acosta. 260 to 10. Sunny Blaze with uh, Garcia 220. Zach the 580, the try 13, the double 1580, the pick three 1730. Any more? Pick four 37330, super 1480. Claim. And a claim. Sunny Blaze went to Abel Castellano. And that is a wrap on a hectic Monday. Let's see how we did betting-wise in the handle. 1,667,313. So not a bad day. Not a lot of other tracks running. So we didn't get a lot of handle from the other tracks. Anyway, we go again on Wednesday. And uh, as always, first post is 1.15. We hope you can come on out and join us. If not, you can always watch this replay show on Comcast 28 or YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Good night.